Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about adding and subtracting integers. Sometimes you might find yourself in a situation where you purchase something on a debit card and your total price comes out to more than you have in your bank account. In that scenario, you would overdraft and if that happens, oftentimes the bank will charge you an overdraft fee. This is one of the reasons it's important to understand positive and negative numbers. Now, an integer is a whole number. Integers can be positive or negative and also include zero. Below is a blank number line. Fill in the number line to include all of the numbers between negative 10 and positive 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill out the numbers on my number line. So here's negative 10, negative nine, negative eight, negative seven, negative six, negative five, negative four, negative three, going kind of quickly now, so I'm just filling these out. So now I have all of the integers between negative 10 and positive 10. Now let's look at example two. Suppose that you have $7 in your bank account and you buy some groceries that cost $10. Follow the directions to find out how much you will have left in your bank account after your purchase. On the number line above, place a dot on positive 7 to indicate your starting amount of money. So I'm going to change my color here. I'll use a green dot, and I'm going to put a dot here at positive 7. Since we are decreasing or subtracting our starting amount by 10, we would count 10 units to the left and place another dot at that location. So I'm here at 7, and I'm going to move over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then that is my new location. Well, where have we ended up? This should indicate how much money we would have left in our bank account after the purchase. So we would be left with negative $3. Example 3 says, a diver is currently 50 feet below sea level in the ocean. She later returns to her car and travels upward an amount of 68 feet. How far above sea level is she when she reaches her car? Draw a picture of the scenario to help you. So here's the water, and let's say the diver is right here, and she's traveling upwards, and maybe... You know, here's the land, and then here is her car. Please excuse my poor drawing skills. So at the moment, she is 50 feet below sea level, and she travels upwards. So she's going and then she ends up at her car. So the vertical distance total that she traveled was an upwards direction of 68 feet. So the question is asking how far above sea level is she? Well, sea level's right here. And so basically we are trying to calculate the distance from here to here. So there's a couple ways we can think about it. Basically, the diver is starting off at a, a depth of negative 50 feet, and then because we're going upwards 68 feet, we're basically trying to solve the expression negative 50 plus 68, and the difference between 68 and 50 is 18, and it's above, so that number is going to be positive. So our final answer, we would say she ends up at 18 feet above sea level. So I'm going to go through a couple of examples and then let you solve the rest of these on your own. And you want to be able to do these without a calculator. So the first one says negative 12 plus 7. Now, when one is negative and one is positive, what you want to do is you want to subtract the just the numeric values without the positive or negative. So the first one here, I'm going to do 12 minus 7, which is 5. And then 
we want to put either a positive or a negative depending on which one has the larger absolute value. And so because the negative here, it's more negative, our five is going to have a negative on it because out of 12 and seven, 12 is the larger number. Okay, for the second example, it says negative 10 plus negative seven. Since both of these are negative, we're just gonna add them. So 10 plus seven is 17. And since both of them are negative, our final answer is going to be negative. And then here, for example three, one of them is positive and one of them is negative. So we'll do 12 minus six which is six, and of six and 12, since 12 is larger and 12 is positive, our final answer will be positive. Okay, I will leave it up to you to find the answers for the rest of these, and you'll find that the answers are actually at the bottom, so you can calculate them yourselves and then verify your answers when you are done.